I just had a great idea. What if we paid a psychologist with insurance to come on our show and like talk to us like a psychologist would? I think it's on the other side. <laughs> We're gonna fail again. What do you think about that? Do you think we can find- wait, maybe you have a friend that's a psychologist. I forgot we're old. We probably do. There it is! No wonder we missed it. We took the turn too wide. We could like have our- have a psychologist on the show talk about our anger issues. Ah, yes, I see here so you play this with Donkey Kong 64. And you wonder why you are angry? <laughs> why are you wondering why you, is this game is known to cause <laughs> anger stroke? <laughs> I, I've, I've had very anger stroke. Yes, anger stroke. People who have stroke do so anger. <laughs> is I, Dr. I, Dr. Lipschitz. I, I have talked to, to. I have had many friends who were killed by this game. <laughs> they were trying to study why it was killing so many people using the anger. The, 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 it's like a well known study in psychology. Oh, yes, the Donkey Kong 64 ah, yes, phenomenon. It was a very, very good study that was done on this game. And the researchers were getting killed because it also was making them very angry. Nice. This game dates back to, to old-time Germany, where they would uh, develop torture techniques of the mind. Yes. It, was, it was actually started by the Germans in World War I. <laughs> they make a prisoner of war play Donkey Kong. The, the idea was you have so many collectibles in the game, and then make it very inconvenient to have to switch character. <laughs> It's a very old, ancient Sherman torture device. <laughs> <laughs> like, that'd be cool. Like, it wasn't even a video game. They just had, like, a game where, like, you had to collect things, and then every time you tried to collect things, but you weren't the right... It's like, you had to put on a different color shirt to collect something, you know? We later discovered that it was actually a very good interrogation device. Oh my god, what is with this camera? <laughs> Ah, yes, it's a camera. That was <laughs> <laughs> that was actually Dr. Heer Farblin. He was very good at discovering <laughs> that ca poor camera angles made uh, this test subjects very angry. <laughs> and for just for shits and giggles, they put the fucking <laughs> starfish. The, the most obnoxious of animals, the starfish with five, uh, uh, or five, uh... What the fuck? I feel like you need to go out of this room to get to the right height. Jesus. Grab it! Grab the banana! I'm fucking trying! <laughs> Yay, we have 40. He's blocking the door! You saw that? He's like, no, you ain't getting out. Ow! Just, just run. You touch me in a book. I'm fucking trying! Anyway, as I was saying... Hey, look, there's an arrow on the floor. When it came to getting information from the British and some from the French back in World War One, when we had those, we would see some sound in front of the television, yeah? And we would tell them, you can either tell us everything you know about the Allied forces, <laughs> And, um, we won't make you play this game. <laughs> Back let in the day, we called it the Monkey Inconvenience 64 times. And let me tell you, they sang like Songbird. <laughs> 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 it worked every time. Very <laughs> little no resistance. We just had to show them a picture of the five monkeys. Immediately, they start talking. <laughs> We actually had a song too, it's called the Monkey Rap. We played it all day, all long for sleep deprivation. <laughs> it made some exercise out of a Zussi Sosha, yeah? Dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass out. I need some, uh, I gotta eat something or something. Hold on. If you have a banana, would you give it to me? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Chris stepped away for a few moments just to uh, grab something to eat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start force feeding this hippo, lots of dirty bananas, and we're going to see <clears throat> if we've got enough to face the dreaded boss of the aquatic area. Knowing my luck, I'll probably be like two, three, maybe one banana short. Yeah. All right, here we go. 20. That, 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 that's a good sign. I think I might be good. I might very well have enough bananas. Sustenance. <laughs> Oh, we're feeding the pigs. Dot org. Hit that commercial like every day. All right, we're, are we getting in? Are we fighting the boss today? We are fighting the boss today. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, let's do it. Who do you think you have to play as? Where versus this boss? Mm -hmm. Any ideas? Uh, if I had to take guess, probably Lanky. Let's find out. Hit the roulette. The artificial roulette. And it is, in fact, and it is Lanky, Lanky Kong. 
They're going in order of the Kong that you you got. Yes, indeedy. Mm -hmm. All right, here, switch me to Lanky. I'm gonna peel open this banana. I got Anthony a nice banana to eat. Oh, banana! Why do you have to do a Z jump to get into the barrel? All right, so last time when we were in the frantic factory, Anthony one shot what I would consider the hardest boss in this game. So, you should be able to one-shot this one. No pressure, though. Oh, but by the way, we lost the footage of that, so sorry, guys. That was lost footage. We apologize. Did we get the talent trot with him? Yeah. I did Z and B. Oh, you know what's really a good feature of this game? The multiplayer is actually pretty good. You remember we played that one time? Rare, rare specialized in multiplayer. Conker's, um, fucking... Oh, dude, Conker's is out of this world outrageous. Which is weird because... Well, not weird, but when I first played Conker, I didn't play the multiplayer because I just played it by myself. Then when I actually bought the game, it was like, whoa. This is crazy. Crazy good. All right. Here we so go. it's a full moon outside. Werewolf. <laughs> He's in a boat. What the hell is this? This is so tragic. Why would they make this poor monkey go through this? Oh dear god. Who's there? Is that his nose? Where? Oh yeah, he has a little red clown nose. I never noticed that. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Oh boy. It is a, uh... It's a puffer fish or something. Oh, you're in a boat. How do you go? Hold A? Okay, Z. That's, that's not uh, intuitive, but okay, we're in the boat, in a tiny lagoon, okay, and we're going to raise the Ocarina of Time switch. Yeah, for the water <laughs> temple. The water temple switch. Okay, so far is not too hard. Oh, we're timed. Guess what? Guess what's back, Anthony? An unnecessary timer? An unnecessary timer. It's so weird. We were talking, Mike Matei was talking about this the other day in his live stream. I was like, what, what, what's the most annoying timers in video games? And I, I totally spaced out and forgot about this one. Well, this isn't that bad. And not this... Yeah, I'm sure there's But more. this boss fight is just running through hoops. But you remember when you had the cannonball with Chunky? That was bad. An unnecessary... <laughs> You're electrocuting... <laughs> You're electrocuting the poor fish. It's not his fault he's not attractive. It's his genetics. boss fight is really dumb, isn't it? Actually, yes. it's no wonder I don't remember this boss. It's, it's so pretty, stupid. It's kind of forgettable. Yeah. It's gonna be over in a second. And remember, like, you just did this crazy boss fight with with Tiny, where you were platforming, you were hitting switches, solving puzzles. Oh yeah, that's right. The thing that was actually fun. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Maybe there's a phase two. Who knows? Probably not. See, when I say that Majora's Mask was the best game, best single-player experience ever made, I stand by it to this day. Yeah. What do you think about uh, Breath of the Wild? I've been playing it lately. I got three three guardians to Divine Beast done. My, my advice with Breath, of Gar with Breath of the Wild is don't go through it too quickly. Really take your time with it. Have fun with it. Get lost in it. If, yeah. you, if you think... If you... Just... Get lost. Yeah. Go explore. Have fun. Don't That's... tell me to get lost. No, but the, yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, the, the Divine Beasts are pretty cool, but it doesn't feel like a Zelda dungeon. It, no, it, it just feels like a big puzzle. Like one big puzzle, you know? Yes, no, I, I, I agree. Actually, the whole thing, it kind of, it, it's almost the same thing to me as, like, going from Zelda 1 to Zelda 2. It's, like, totally it doesn't feel like a Zelda game at all. If anything, it feels like Elder Scrolls with Link, you know? And a better combat system, because God knows Skyrim's combat system was garbage. But still fun, by the way. Wait, yeah. did you just criticize Skyrim? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's super in-depth. Everything's voice acted. The world is amazing. But the combat system is not great. It's okay, at best. It doesn't It doesn't feel satisfying when you kill stuff, you know? All right, how many more of the hoops <laughs> do I gotta jump through? Are we done? Oh, Can for it, fuck's sake. Fry the fish, you must... Oh, they're getting smaller, wow. Oh, you only got 10 seconds now. Now it's getting real tough. It's hide and seek, 64, and there's fish coming at you. Come on, Anthony. 
Get that new prescription on your glasses, because you're going to need it. Mm. <laughs> Almost. Almost there. Almost. Yes. 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 Oh. yes! Come to Papa! Oh, oh we're God. Done. Thank God. Oh, it's brutal. No, it wasn't brutal. It was boring. I was tired of that shit. Again, now they make the boss fights feel like a fucking chore. I hate this. I'm sorry. If you like this game, you're wrong. You're just, you're wrong. Thomas, you're wrong. If you ever tell me to my face again that this is better than Banjo-Kazooie, <laughs> I'll slap you. <laughs> and it is a real slap, too. Not a pretend slap. Fuck. All right, guys. Thanks. Damn, this makes me angry. Well, if you liked today's episode... Which you didn't! I didn't! We're going to get the psychologist on the show. Much needed, by the way. Anthony's insurance will cover it. If they have any dispute, we will simply link them the episode. And they'll say, oh, God, please forgive us. We didn't know. Just Goodbye, everybody. I'll remember you all in therapy. See you tomorrow. Bye! <laughs>